all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Working too hard can sometimes be detrimental to your mental But you won't see until your mind shut down Then you glitching like you got it, itch you just can't scratch Just a know-it-all, know-it-all until he get hard fact Why should I worry about things I have no power to change? Truth accepted and collected, I ain't going insane Anxiety is real, and it starts with control Why should I gain the world if it costs my soul? Whoa. Working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line it's easy to lose when you don't know why you lost and if you don't make a plan then you won't know why you lost it's a whole lot of sheep that love the title of boss i let my stress go because that makes it easy to fall i have been made free i took myself out that prison so let me give you the key while i rest on my mission it's the hardest command given for us to follow you can have all the money but you can still be hollow working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line it's hard for you to rest when you know that you broke and it's hard to sit still when they give you false hope take a lesson from the lion they sit calm and patient lying and wait for their prayer plan to eat for the day timing is everything don't give alert to the weak stay on the move but you still need rest from the week it's a time and a place don't make time for the fake need time for your love then just let the fake hate working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Yeah, 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 yeah. Making this video about how the congressional black carcass has failed black America. The congressional black carcass has absolutely no accomplishments. This is evident with the death of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee of Houston, Texas, all she had to brag about was Juneteenth, a policy that Joe Biden stole from Trump, Trump's brainchild. He just said, I might, I might make Juneteenth a holiday. Biden get it out, make Juneteenth a holiday. Trump say, I'm going to give people no taxes on tips. Kamala Harris steals his idea. No taxes on tips. But in the last 60 years, the black carcass has provided absolutely nothing for the black constituents in the United States. Congressman Danny Davis of Chicago, Illinois, have accomplished absolutely nothing for the black community. Congressman Bobby Rush, the former Black Panther, retired with no accomplishments to speak of. Cook County Clerk Karen Yarborough just died 
within the last couple of months, she has no accomplishments whatsoever for the black people. The mayor of Dalton, Illinois, is under scrutiny because she's still in the money, but she has no accomplishments for the black people. Jesse Jackson Jr. went to prison for stealing money. His wife went to prison for stealing money from the black people, but they have accomplished absolutely nothing. The entire black carcass were stewards for the last 60 years. They have a huge voting block that can actually prevent or uh, promote and pass any law that they desire. But the black carcass votes 100% of the time for the Democrat president. Whatever his policy is, the black carcass goes with it. The black carcass has allowed East Indians, Chinese people who make up over one third of the world's population to get and share in our minority resources. East Indians and Chinese people combined makes 3 billion people. That is 100 times the population of black America, yet they are considered minorities. Those are just two Asian countries, not to mention Japan, Indonesia, Korea, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, all of the countries of Asia Minor, Asia Major, are considered minorities in America. Billions of people are sharing and stealing the resources of Black America under the leadership of the Black Carcass. Not to mention Africa. Africa's population is 1 billion people. That is over 30 times the population of Black America, yet every African that comes to the United States is considered a minority, and they are able to resource and get resources to tap into our resources in the United States. Educational resources, business resources, grants, affirmative action, jobs. So you, you're talking about half of the world's population is coming to the United States solely to take the resources from black America. They are not coming to the United States to compete with white people. They want to take what's ours and they are taking what's ours because of the congressional black carcass. All the congressional black carcass did for black America was vote to approve the 94 crime bill, which allowed Bill Clinton and Joe Biden to invest $10 billion for prisons. The black carcass has allowed Joe Biden to open up the border and bring in 20, 30, 40 million illegal aliens and provide them with $30,000 debit cards each. Free rent, free education, free health care, free food, free everything. The black carcass allowed this. The black congressman and the what what Cory Booker, one black senator that's a Democrat, has allowed this, but they have accomplished nothing. One Republican senator by the name of Tim Scott has done more policy to improve black America than the last 60, 70 years of the black carcass. The black carcass has failed us. Politics has failed us. The black mayor of Chicago allocated billions of dollars to go to migrants, to give them free housing, free education, free money, a lavish lifestyle. The Lieutenant governor of Illinois is a black woman who allowed to give these billions of dollars to the migrants. The Cook County president is a black woman by the name of Tony Preckwinkle, who allocated hundreds of millions of dollars to migrants, but she has allocated nothing for black people. The black Democrat carcass, I call them the carcass because they're a dead body. They must rot. They must be allowed to rot and die. The black carcass has no agenda. 
they believed in the philosophy of W.E.B. Du Bois, this fa the fallacious utopia of integration. He called it the quest for the golden fleece in his book, Souls of Black Folks, in which we would come to this utopian society after eliminating 90% of Negroes, the remnant will go down and integrate into white society and the world would be a better place. The Negroes accomplished this, but they have no further plan because the plan has not been written. All that was written was the integration and that's it. They don't know what to do. They're chickens with their heads cut off. Where there's no vision of people perish in the book of Hosea. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I shall reject thee, Hosea 4 and 6. The black carcass has no agenda. They have no vision. They don't know what to do. All they know what to do is to go in there and just get in power and just enrich themselves and destroy Negroes, which is in the part of their agenda that has been written, the destruction of 90% of Negroes. But the black carcass is akin to the elite failed Negroes in the book of Exodus who wanted to go back to Pharaoh to be slaves. This is all they accomplished. They allowed, not only did they allow the entire continent of Asia to come to the United States and siphon off the resources, the crumbs that was allocated to Negroes, Kennedy passed affirmative action as executive order. Lyndon, uh, Lyndon Johnson made for, uh, signed the Civil Rights Bill Act that allowed for all the minorities to get resources, codified affirmative action as law, allowed white women, which is half of Europeans, hundreds of millions of people, not only in the United States, but in Europe, all white women in the world can siphon the crumbs of black America to suck the blood like fleas and maggots to eat the carcass of the Negro. So all white women in the world has access to minority resources. East Indians make up 1.5 billion people. Hindustan, Pakistan, right next to Hindustan, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, the Philippines, all of these people have access to Negro resources, Negro American resources, East Africa, West Africa, the so-called Middle East Arabs, who has ownership of all of the gas stations in the black community, all the liquor stores, minority grants, business loans, all the Arabs in the world, has access to the Negroes resources because of the black carcass. The black carcass has signed off on these policies to disempower the Negro and empower everybody else in the world. So all white women has access to the resources of Negroes. They have access to the businesses in the black community, the grants, the loans, the business loans, the SBA loans, the uh, Minority Business Development Administration loans, Africans, all Africans can go to America and get affirmative action, even though the Supreme Court just ruled against it, but the damage has been done. Go to our HBCUs, historically black colleges, taking our positions in these corporations who are supposed to have a certain amount of black people working but they're going to get a Nigerian, a, a South African, a Ethiopian, a Ghanaian. One billion people on the continent of Africa are coming to eat the resources of black America. We ain't even got to South America yet. Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia. Panama, Mexico, we didn't even get to the islands, Haiti, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, and then we didn't even get to the Pacific Islanders, 
the Samoan Islands, the entire world is benefiting off of the the crumbs that was allocated to Black America. So therefore, there is nothing left for us. I go out to the, the people every so often to try to promote my business. And because Black people are so broke and poor, we don't have any access to the resources because of all of these people in the world, which is billions of people. I'm going to just show you how many people live in China. I'm going to just show it to you. Hey, how many people live in China? Watch this. Hold on. Let me get this. Why is it not getting it? How many people live in China? Oh. It says, how many people live in China? 1.4 billion people. 1.4 billion people. Let me add up how many people live in India. How many people live in India? Hold on. Let me get to that. How many people live in India? How many people in India? What's India's population? India's population is 1.4 bit 9 billion. So they got more people than China. So that's 3 billion right there. 3 billion. Let me look at how many people live in Africa. These people are these are the people that's getting the resources. They are so called minority yet they make up the most of the world population. How many people live in Africa? How many people live in Africa? 1.3 billion. I'd say 1. Point, how many billion? Actually, 1.5 billion people live in Africa. So we got what? 4.5 billion people already. Africa, China, India is getting access to the resources of Black America. That's more than half of the world's population is coming for our resources. How many Black Americans are there? How many African Americans exist? How many African Americans? So we're gonna get okay. We we just counted four point five billion. How many African Americans are there? Forty seven million. So basically, a hundred times our population. Yet they're minorities. How many people live in Nigeria? Nigeria population is two hundred fifty million. Watch this. Many people in Nigeria, 195 million. So their population diminished about 200 million people, nearly the population of the United States. Yet they come in here and talk about their minorities. So Africa has 1.5 billion, China has 1.5 billion, India has 1.5 billion, 4.5 billion. Then we didn't even count the islands. We didn't even count South America. We didn't even count white women. Probably th three fourths of the world's population is coming for our resources, all because of the black carcass are not uh, defenders of our rights and resources. They're not advocates. The black carcass must be rejected. Kamala Harris, I don't know if she considered herself a Negro when she was the senator. I think she considers herself a East Indian, so she weren't part of the black carcass. You have the uh, Hispanic carcass, caucus. I guess the uh, standard caucus is Caucasians, you know, congressional, senatorial, 
whatever carcass group of people, but the black carcass don't really have an agenda of the black people to, to defend. They are, they allow the entire world to come in and take our resources to immigrate and migrate. They, they signed off on the immigration reform act of 1990, which allows for 1 million legal immigrants to come in. They allowed hundreds of millions of, or yeah, hundreds of millions of illegal immigrants to come in and get them resources. They allow Obama to pass the uh, DACA, the Fur Action for Childhood Arrivals. The Black Carcass has has been behind these votes. They has voted in a favor of all of these policies that has destroyed and decimated the Black community. The Black Carcass has allowed Black women to abort 50 million babies put Planned Parenthoods all in our communities. They didn't do anything to fight drugs and poverty. They didn't increase the educational financing. They didn't increase uh, job development, business development, resources. The Black Carcass, all they could brag about is Juneteenth as a holiday. All of these old de- decrepit relics that's in the Congress, that's of Negroes. When they die off, nobody's going to give them a holiday. They're not MLK, even though MLK is the a Canaanite demon, a Phoenician demon, Molech. They are, they are not even going to get a holiday. Nobody's going to remember any of them because they have done nothing for you. In the Quran, it say, those who done no good deeds, it is as though they never existed. It is as though the black carcass never existed. All of these East Indians and Chinese and all of these uh, foreign people, the most of the world's population who was siphoning off our resources, they are not even supporting our businesses. They are not even assisting the Negroes. They are only about their own agenda. They did not include the Negroes in the Asian hate crime bill. I go out there to try to sell my books and nobody wants to support my business. I can't get a business loan, business financing, grants, resources. I can't even get a people, a person to even purchase or or invest or donate to my business. And yet I'm an American born so-called FBA. I'm watching all of these East Indians, Chinese, Africans flourish off of the resources that should be going to me and the black carcass has facilitated this tragedy. The black carcass must be rejected. Voting, Negroes must stop voting for one. We must reset. We must have a total reset. We must have a separation of the wheat and the tares. Those who are for you and those who are against you. Those who are for the elevation of the Negro the Negro male, because any group of people who reject the men of their communities, they reject their communities. You don't see any other group rejecting the men of their communities, but the black people. The black American man is not being empowered, even though the black American man has empowered everybody. The black female, American female, is running out there, chickens with their heads cut off, chicken heads looking for salvation in white Jesus, a so-called white man who has fought and uh, sacrificed for nobody. He has sacrificed for no one but himself. He's getting the lion's share. 98% of all investment in America goes to white males. 98%, actually 98.8%. Let me get the exact numbers. I wrote it in this book right here. Let me get the right, the the, the, uh, vast majority of the 1.3. Hold on. I, I, I quoted Peebles. I quoted Peebles, Don Peebles. The Federal Reserve study, people says $67.7 trillion is invested 
in white male owned businesses out of a total of 69 trillion. 1.3 trillion is shared amongst all minorities, including white women. Black women account for 30% of all new small businesses, yet only receive two tenths of 1% of the $1.3 trillion allocated to minorities. $67 trillion. In this book right here, $67.7 trillion in the United States is allocated to white men. This at least 4.5 billion people in the world from Asia, India, Africa, South America, Venezuela, they are getting $1.3 billion, I mean, $1.3 trillion in investment that should be going to the American Negro. Don Peebles say, and uh, also, um, Byron Allen say, since Black America make 12% of the population, we should get 12% of the $69 trillion that's being invested. But we're, we're getting less than two, no, the Black women is getting less than two tenths of 1% of 1.3 trillion. We don't know how much the Black male is getting, which I believe and can assume it's a lot less. But this book right here, I try to sell this book and people don't want to get it, but I keep trying. But I'm going to be done already soon. I'm going to be about done with this video about the black carcass, how they actually are not advocating for black American people. You know, they vote for the, the, the Congress is the purse. All financing goes through the Senate and the House. So this $69 trillion that is being allocated to white males. I mean, $67.7 trillion has been approved by the Black Carcass. The Black Carcass has allowed for this to happen. They have not been proper guardians of the Negroes. They have no guidance, no, no uh, creed or philosophy other than what the boys wrote in his book, Souls of Black Folks, Integration. And since integration occurred, and since MLK Molek has been sacrificed, nothing has been happening since. Nothing has occurred but our gradual decline as a people. We have lost more wealth, more resources, more people in the last 60 years than in the history of the entire world. Black women has, a, has a, a, a aborted an estimated 50 million babies. Black men has been castrated, imprisoned, murdered, tens and hundreds of thousands. There's over 100,000 black women missing. And the Congressional Black Carcass has not held a hearing to investigate what is going on with all these missing black people. What is happening? They are not doing their jobs. So why are we still voting? And why are we still voting for black people? who shows that they are not interested in your salvation and your well-being. They don't even care if you live or die, if you're in prison or if you're poor or homeless. All they seem to care about is the well-being of immigrants. And that's about it. Not brothers with degrees with high expected dreams 
Standing on their creed, providing for their needs They honor niggas with disease who strive for Mickey D's Who threw away their life chasing government cheese In the 80s and 90s they used to have behind the gang cheese But God destroyed the gang cheese with wickedness indeed Now instead of on their two feet, they living on their knees Not a weapon you could conjure but prosper against me It's easy to move on two dudes when you walking around ten deep All for one, one for all but God don't honor the cowards Devour all your power, this land will be ours Knock down the towers, the beast losing his powers Talks down the flowers, this world soon will be ours Artificial insemination injected into your minds Chased behind, not the king's dreams that got left behind Now we on these suicidal missions, they send those depositions I was left in stud drugs, killing brothers, filling their prisons Lost in another dimension, call it eternal detention Sit back and listen to this exposition Interventions inside the control of the women and children They think it's independence, slut tactics and rap music Influence and distribution, if you never understood Why well, you never seen no good this is the hood controlled by Hollywood and the planet of the apes. There's no real escape. This is our fate, but it's never too late. Superfly, Foxy Brown, Minutes to Society, Nino Brown. Tony Montana said, No cloud nine. Said it off and you did those crimes. Do your time, books is back and wham. Lost our mind and we dipped them in blind. Man, listen. We had too much rope and sold too much dope. Fail for the okie doke, now we stuck in this choke hope. They hustle in our votes, the presidents to the post, the people and the folks, the beast got them in a scope. The society spreading fear, we stuck in this atmosphere. The people won't care about nothing if they're not aware.